plastic waste and access to nutritious food top the list of humanity's challenges. Michigan Technological University's research team aims to convert plastic waste and inedible biomass into edible protein. This groundbreaking research has been awarded the 2021 Future Insight Prize by Merck, a leading science and technology company in Germany. The research lab studies how complex microbial communities can cooperate to perform functions of industrial interest. In this case, converting waste into safe and edible food while also tackling the issue of plastic pollution. The researcher says that they use engineered natural organisms to break down the plastics and non-edible plant biomass to convert into food. The food generator isn't a magic bullet designed to meet the needs of a growing population alone, nor can it promise delicious meals. Rather, it is intended as a supplementary or emergency solution to help address a crisis in the wake of an extreme climate event, for instance. The food generator could be developed for personal use in homes or scaled up to be an industrial process. While the food generator may sound like an incredible feat, the concept is firmly rooted in science. It would be driven by intricate communities of microbes, such as bacteria and fungi, which work together to metabolize inedible material and waste, converting it into safe, palatable food. There are many naturally occurring microbes that are capable of breaking down and feeding on things that we currently consider as waste. The first step in converting plastic and inedible plant waste to protein powder is to depolymerize the waste into more biodegradable compounds, that is, break the polymer into its monomers or individual components. The current process converts plastic into compounds that look somewhat like oil using heat and a reactor that can deconstruct plastic's polymer chains. The oil-like compounds are then fed to a community of oil-eating bacteria the research lab has been studying. The bacteria fluorize on their oily diet, producing more bacterial cells which are about 55% protein. This lets the team quickly convert plastic to protein. The researchers envision a system like this. There is a slot on one side where people throw in plastic waste or non-edible biomass. The waste goes into processing reactors to be broken down by heat. Once broken down, the byproduct is fed into a vat with uh, the bacterial community which chews on whatever flows there and grows. The cells are then dried down into a powder for later use. And as part of the Future Insights Prize, the team plans to develop a purely biological process for plastic conversion into food. This process will use enzymes for depolymerizing plastics and include bacteria to break down inedible plant biomass and other wastes. The research team uses synthetic biology approaches to augment probiotics, improving food quality by increasing nutritional contents, boosting resistance to foodborne pathogens and adding personalized therapeutic benefits.